and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Stompy. Let's bring, oh gosh, sorry, I just got done eating. <laughs> Let's bring this deck back though. Um, we are going to be playing my favorite Vivian Arcbow Ranger deck. And this, as we talked about before, this is probably my favorite card from M20, just in general. Really like this card. Really like this deck. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, last time we tried out the Knight of the Ebon Legions, and yeah, the deck was upgraded with the Knight of the Ebon Legions. I was scared of like not you know being able to play it on turn one hardly ever or anything. But you don't need it on turn one. You just have it later on. It works so well with Vivian, just like Rotting Regisaur does. Because Regisaur, being a huge creature, Knight, whenever you pump it, is a huge creature. Both these are huge creatures, but our, you know, your opponents usually have to chump block these things. Well, if you make them even bigger with Vivian and give them Trample, that's just hard to race. That is really hard to race. So, um... That's what our deck's all about. It's all about uh, pumping up Regisaur and giving it Trample, and now Knight of the Ebon Legion giving that Trample. Plus, whenever you give a, like whenever a creature has Death Touch and Trample, all you have to do is one damage to a blocked creature, like a creature that's blocking. You only have to do one damage to it, and then the rest tramples over, um, because just one Death Touch kills a creature. So that's pretty awesome. Um, sideboard changed up a little bit before. I had like a Command the Dread Horde and a and a Carnage Tyrant, some some bigger cards against Esper, but Esper is just not as big in the metagame right now, so we're trimming down our sideboard a little bit. Like, we're going Ceratops instead um, of the Carnage Tyrant. Got an extra Legion's End. We had two before. We got a third. We got a horse in here also now. Horses are cool. Um, but that's our deck. So let's, let's go ahead and try it out. We got Unhinged Basics. They look awesome. This is our basically Vivian tribal deck. We're going to need Vivian much more for our avatar beasts. here, for our Vivian tribal deck. All right, let's play through a league. Yeah, Vivian Reed was so powerful. Yeah, Dread Presence definitely up there in them 20 favorites, absolutely. Absolutely. Am I just <clears throat> gonna discard Knight here? Are we gonna go turn one Elf, turn two Rotting Regisaur, turn three Vivian, kill you? They play a removal spell, I'm sad. Plan's looking good so far. Life gain deck. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. Attacking for nine on turn three. This will on be the play. Fun to watch. It's a nine eight trample. On the play, a nine eight trample. On turn three. Oh, Hawkeye's doing great. He was just he's just on here. He's he's sitting over here right next to me. I'm kind of petting him while I ha have my hand on the mouse here. <laughs> yeah, people call Hook. Yeah. Hogak but busted. Well, you're annoying. My my. How you've grown. Oh, it's just a 10 power trampler now. <laughs> Look at these little one ones. They're so cute.
All right, well, that was a really good hand. So I, I guess we need to respect a Johnny's pride mate. We need to respect the pride mate. So we can have a choop. Maybe play like a couple of these, a choop, and a plague mare, and just get rid of the growth chamber guardians. Oh man, we have our our slow hand turn two steel leaf champion instead of turn two rotting register. We only have turn two steel leaf champion now. It's so small. <laughs> it's just a five four. wasn't meant to be contained. There is wonder in a blade of Gotta give the Steel Leaf Champion vigilance and reach. Why Plague Mare over Cry of the Carnarium or even Second Masker Girl? Because Plague Mare right away against uh, vampires can be really important. Also, creatures are good to, like, Creatures are really good to have in this deck for a lot of reasons. Um, one, you know, having a creature on the sideboard is something that you can go grab with Vivian Arcbow Ranger with that activated ability. Plus, you know, you get to you get creatures from the other Vivians as well. I guess they could be playing a Wrath. Oh well. So, so this deck really values having creatures, um, but Masker Girl and Cry the Carnarium, you know, kill my mana creatures, where Plague Mare doesn't kill my mana creatures. That's fine. So what kind of matchup do you think is bad for Growth Chamber Guardian? Don't know when I should cut those. Basically, <clears throat> other creature matchups where the body is pretty small compared to what else is going on. Definitely glad they didn't take Knight of the Ebon Legion with that other Ixalan's binding there. They turned into white-black control here. I... Alright, so the, the event to get... Yeah, to get these basics, the events are over. However... I believe I believe that at a later date that has not been announced they will be available in the store for purchase. But that later date has not been announced yet. Maybe over maybe after all the plantation things are done with. 
No, no new codes over the past couple of weeks that I know of. Yeah, the the event with the islands are, is starts tomorrow. To un yeah, to unlock that dress that you can't use wild cards on, that was that was an event that happened a while ago. I don't remember what kind of event, but kind of like these plaincation events, there was an event where you got the duress. Um, and so yeah, that, that event's just over, so you can't unlock them anymore. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any plans to re-release like those alternate art cards, including Teferi. Not a good hand against Scapeshift here. Not a, that good of a hand in general. Maybe I should have just mulliganed. My draw steps haven't really look, made it look good either. The Mirage lands for the event. The Mirage lands for the event tomorrow does look pretty nice. <laughs> uh, the blast zone. Steel Leaf Champion's a good one. Cannot be blocked by zombie tokens. So that's pretty cool. Everything from deer to dinosaurs. This will be fun to watch. Go get them, Steel Leaf. Go get them. If they don't have Krasis, they're dead next turn. They don't have Krasis or Teferi. No Krasis, no Teferi. Just play Circuitous Route and Elvish Rejuvenator. Yeah, play like an Elvish Rejuvenator. No. Not that thing. I can no longer stand by and watch. Boo. Ah, lucky for me, I like a fight. You need to slow down. Boo. Ugh. Crisis also. My, my, how you've grown.
Yeah, that's true. Teferi is never late to the party. Um, we'll get these. These. And I guess Ceratops. I don't know. Ceratops is just so bad against the zombies, but it's good against Teferi. Alright, Growth Chamber Guardian out of here. Ripjaw Raptor. I guess Vivian. I guess this Vivian can kill Teferi. With this Vivian. Trim one of those. Whoops. How many creatures are at? 25. Yeah, and a Ripjaw. Alright. Oh, gosh, these temples. If that was Overgrown Tomb, Overgrown Tomb, this would be, like, perfect. It's just so much slower. I guess it's just a turn slower, right? So it's like... Klonoa, getting that gifted sub. 619, you are so nice. Thanks for continuing to gift subs out there. I appreciate that. Welcome, Klonoa. So I guess this is basically just like us being on the draw. Like we... So like if we're going to win the game on the draw anyway, like this would be the type of hand we'd be keeping on the draw. But it's against... It is against them having eight cards on the play. Ooh, but I need another land. We can find another land with the other temple. Yeah, that works. <laughs> For sub hype, call six one. Nice. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, thanks, Prof. Oh, we have the wrong Vivian in hand. I thought we had the four mana Vivian this whole time. My hand went from really good to really bad in just like a little bit there. Yeah, I, I did have Thorn Lieutenants. I, I basically took out Thorn Lieutenants for Knight of the Ebon Legion because it's just it's a more impactful card overall. Yeah, that blast zone is just going to blow up these knights. Wish we had the other Vivian. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be playing some mono black control up next.
This one doesn't look good for us. There's Suvi Sack. Blast on those things. Thanks, six one nine. So this is kind of the problem with having uh, having Legion's End. I think I may just ditch Legion's End. Yeah, we're just going to ditch Legion's End. It's just the problem with having Legion's End with Rotting Regisaur. Like, we're... You know, we have to discard a card every turn. If we're like just discarding the card we draw every turn, that's kind of rough. And then we'll never be able to play Arcbow Ranger, which Arcbow Ranger is a really important card to have. Arcbow Ranger? No. Let yeah, we have the wrong Vivian here. Because if we had Arcbow Ranger, we would have been able to put two counters on this and give a trample both of these last two turns, and they would just be dead. But we don't have Arcbow Ranger. Yeah, like they would they would just be dead right now if we had the other Vivian. Which I thought I had whenever I kept the hand. I didn't realize it was the wrong Vivian. So that's my bad. So it looks like they'll get six zombies here. Grow Spiral for another land to get a seventh zombie. I guess it's seven, right, because that, that comes in too. So never mind, so I get seven zombies. <clears throat> and they'll go get an eighth one here. Yeah, I could just have three lands in play and have the Legion's End. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Not really winning this race unless we draw Vivian. And yeah, I I wanted to keep my options available to draw Vivian Arcbow Ranger, but we have not. We could still win this if we draw Arcbow Ranger. Mm. 
Not bad for a mouse. But for the record, I, I would have mulliganed that first hand if I realized that we had the wrong Vivian. I would have mulliganed that. Unfortunately, we know we have a Legion's End on the bottom of our library. And we have one in the graveyard. And there's only three in the deck. So if we're going to have one on the graveyard, on the bottom, maybe the other one's on the top. The, the thing about having that Legion's End, I wouldn't have the second Rotting Regisaur. I don't think. Wait, did I grab... No, I grabbed the second Rotting Regisaur off of... No, because, yeah, I've only drawn lands, so... Yeah, actually, I've just drawn lands in Paradise Druid. Never mind. So, yeah, we'd still be able to have that second Rotting Regisaur. So, yep, yeah, made the mistake. Should have just, stick... just stuck with three lands and just ditched the land every single turn. No, I know it doesn't trample. I... So, like, the whole reason why I kept the hand is because I thought we had the other Vivian that, d that made it trample, but we didn't. So, it should have been a mulligan. No, I don't think this deck could play 22 or 23 lands. You need. You gotta have four land. Or, you know, you gotta hit your, your fourth land. Um. I've been happy with how many lands we have in here with the 24 we have. Yeah, I just have the... Yeah, Flash Vivian's not great here in this matchup. I just have one. I took one out. I just have one in here. No, it's, it's not great. It's not really ideal. I don't know if Assassin's Trophy is too great. Would we like kill a field of the dead and they just get two other zombies? Okay. So make sure you pay attention to which Vivian's in your hand when you keep a hand. Correct Vivian. Okay. We're good. We have the right Vivian this time.
So we're good to go. I have four of these in the deck, of course. I feel like this deck is built around the Arcbow Ranger. All right, we're just hoping to draw land. And then our opponent's dead. So draw land, please. Come on, land. Oh, this growth chamber guardian, you're killing me. We'll have to discard two cards anyway, so might as well play it. No, um, one of the, it's just, the sub count's 18 out of 20. One of the subs was MTG bot, uh, you know, uh, me re-upping the MTG bot, so I'm not counting that. So they both have to chump. So I don't even like the growth chamber guardian putting into my hand doesn't really matter. I guess I guess if they had like a sweeper somehow. I don't know how they're getting the sweeper, but I guess if they had a sweeper, then we'll have. Um A backup card here. All right, have a good night, 619. See you tomorrow. Take care. See, just turn two, Rotting Registrar, turn three, Rotting Registrar. Just kills people so fast. So fast. Is there blue-green? What's going on with blue-green over there? They're going to be Cavalier Thorns. We're doing that kind of stuff. We'll play a Troops instead of a Ripjaw. Hey Chris, nothing new, but doing real good. Just here streaming all day, every day. Yeah, Plague Mayor could wipe up some Risen Reefs. Let them play a couple of more cards here. All right, looks like we got the same kind of hand here. <laughs> the classic, what do I even sign for? My deck is so great, problem. No, Riding Register would not be fair if it had Trample. No. All right, turn two Reggie. Turn three, another Reggie. Hopefully turn four Vivian.
Finding Registrar is pretty good on turn two. Selective Snare. That could be pretty good here. They're going to bounce the dinos. God, look at how hard those things hit. Just three hits and you're dead. <laughs> My body is Reggie. All right, Dino's bounced. But they coming back. My girl. All right, so unless they have something pretty spectacular, it's looking like they're dead. Like, best thing they can have is, like, Count Leer Thorns. That's not good enough. <clears throat> no. That's kind of good enough. to the largest hydra nature is beautiful mr chompers way if i were you coming through to chomp 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 boom mr chompers Just chomping. Yeah, we're playing against Quasi Reef. This in a Quasi Reef is sweet. Yeah, we had to do a, a reset of the stream right before this. So it says we've only been live for 40 minutes, but we've been live for 10 hours total today. Started at 10 a.m. It's 8 p.m. now. What? You think my opponent has this? Mm, this is why I don't like people. Nah. I guess. Oh, they do get to. They do get to copy the Cavalier Thorns, like the Quasi Duplicate. He has to get two Cavaliers. All right, second Cavalier is tough. We're still good, though. Man, they're playing a lot of Blast Zones. 
Or just just two blast zones, I guess. enough to survive. Death touch Medical trample? What are y'all talking about? There's no death touch anywhere. I follow the tracks of the wise. There's there's no death touch anywhere. All right, that select a snare card pretty good. All right, we'll be back on the play now. All right, well, like basically always Growth Chamber Guardian doesn't matter. So I'm going to take them out. Get that extra Ripjaw in here. Get a Plague Mare. And a couple Legion's Ends. I'm a little worried of Masker Girl killing my creatures as well. Uh, we have the Arcbow Ranger. But no dino. Still Plague Mare kills like Land War Elf and stuff on turn three. Arcbow Ranger is just pretty awesome. Hmm. Can we find a different three drop to play? I think we probably can. I think we can get a three drop. I think we can get a ready a Reggie. There we go. Now play two other land or elves. Elf, elf, go. Elf. Yeah, Kitato, yeah, this is another quasi reef deck. Yep. Didn't do anything there. Is it like instant speed Nature bounce? Will take back what rightfully belongs to it. I guess I could kill the land war elf. I guess I should do that. I guess maybe I should just play the plague mare to kill the land war elf. I was planning on just doing the tick up, tick up, but then realized that I guess with cavalier thorns. So yeah, I should have just played plague plague mare this turn. Do they have like an instant or something? Damn. What do they have going on over here? Yeah, should have played Plague Mare.
Oh, I think they, they have the... I think they have Veil of Summer. But Veil of Summer doesn't protect against my stuff. Yeah, so they're just cycling it. So they're probably seeing what like the Vivian does Veil of Summer. Do anything there. Because, yeah, they don't have anything else. We get to put counters on the Plague Mare, plus we could play the other Vivian and put two more counters on there. You know, they just had a smaller creature. Rotting Registrar and Vivian to Arcbow Ranger don't mess around. It just ends the game. Yeah, it's not fancy, it just the opponent just dies. Just how it is. Hey, what's up, Borderin? Thanks for that resub there. That is sub number 19 on the day. We are one off of our sub goal. MTG bots count as one off there. But yeah, if, you, if you've been enjoying the stream as well and would like to help support me as being a full-time streamer, consider hitting that sub button. You get access to all 22 of those really cool emotes to be able to use in chat. Gotta have our green kitty to go with our green sleeves. And green avatar. Yeah, while, while we're not really ramping into anything big, I, st I still like Paradise Druid more than Branch Walker um, because our mana is a little tough. So, like, there's going to be times, like, where, we, where Branch Walker helps fix our mana. Like, that's that's going to happen from time to time. Um, one, but then there's also just... I don't know. I like, like how it ha has Hexproof. It works, like, uh, Paradise Druid works pretty well with the Vivians at times, like, having... When you when it has hexproof, you can have the other Vivian give it vigilance so they can't kill it when you're attacking, and then this Vivian can pump it up. Hmm. So even though even though we're not really ramping into anything big, just having extra mana is is useful all the time. So I want <clears throat> I don't want to play another three drop like Regisaur because of uh, <clears throat> uh, Ritual of Sit. So I want to have a four drop to go along with it. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Impossible. Thanks for all those little bitties.
Yeah, blood blood's on Lotus Field. It's a nice combo. Like Bloodsun's really good against Scape Shift, obviously. Enter the God Eternal is pretty good against vampires, so is this. This looks like Grixis anti Scape Shift vampires. Here. That's pretty big game. That's pretty big game. Hey, Deft. Welcome to the channel. All right, we got our sub goal. Hmm. So that is the ninth sub goal, nine out of 20 towards our next 12 hour stream. We're almost halfway there. Mass manipulation it certainly makes out. your life a whole lot harder. <laughs> it not only kills two of my creatures, but also just gives them to the opponent. Definitely makes my life a lot harder. That's a good card. My my, how you've grown. Our opponent could have just done that a while ago, would have conceded. So yeah, Expansion Explosion is awesome with all that mana. That could be a good way to be playing Grixis. Ramp with Lotus Fields. That was pretty rough. So this kind of match, though, this is where Riding Regisaur's discard, like the decks with a lot of hard removal, um, that's where you don't really want Riding Regisaur's make you discard all the time. Right, Duress. Um... Hmm. All right, gonna trim a couple of Ripjaw Raptors. Again, they 
they die to removal spells very easily one for one and take out an arc bow ranger this is where growth this is the kind of matchup where growth chamber guardian is a better threat for us that can replace itself over and over this is the kind of matchup for growth chamber guardian All right, so we'll have the Veil of Summer protection here. Okay, he's napping on the couch. expecting a, a wrath here but we can rebuild in case of another wrath we don't we don't need to put the paradise druid out there too all right well I shouldn't have played that land Crazy how <laughs> Nickel Balls can't even block this one drop. It's crazy. The schemes to attend. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. All about those schemes over there. I need some kindling. And you look flammable enough. Let's make some more room to fight in. Bleh. They never targeted me once the entire game. They didn't have a single card. They targeted me, just all... <laughs> all sweepers for removal and... Dragon God crushing me. Never got to k cast a Veil of Summer. What's up, Siwookies? Alright, so there's our deck. 
that was a impressive looking version of Grixis, especially against our creature deck there. Um, I thought we had that pretty well in hand, you know, after we duressed away the ritual of set and they had nothing in hand, I thought we had it. But the top deck, Nickel Bolas, Dragon God found him, you know, like that just that got him there. Um But yeah, um, pretty fun little deck here. Pretty easy one to play. You just kind of stomp over opponents. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes it does. Um, normal Grixis decks, I th you know, I really like to play with a deck like this. But that, you know, mass manipulation, explosion for a bunch, a bunch of ritual sets and everything. And... You know, I had two Veil of Summers that I had up the entire game there and not a single card for me to Veil of Summer. Not a single one. No Thought Razors or nothing. That was rough. All right, so that's Golgari, Stompy. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate both of those. But thanks for watching Golgari, Stompy, and I'll see you for the next video.